Tile or hardwood? Hardwood. Modern or classic? Modern. Island or counter? Island. Bath or shower? Bath. Hi, I'm Ryan Wilson, owner and operator of Ryan Shannon Company. We're an interior decorating design house where we do residential spaces. I have a bachelor's degree in computing and information technology. I got from the University of Technology. Why did you switch from the field of information technology to construction? Funny enough, I didn't, it's, you know when they say the job chose you, that was what more like for me because my father has always been in construction and I wanted a new challenge. So this, I, um, being already around construction, it was only the best fit to just segue into construction. I was born seeing my father doing this kind of work. Um, I can remember back in high school, our summer holidays were spent on site, sweeping up, passing the hammer, passing the screwdriver and so on and so forth. So I kind of got my informal training from there. And I mean, as with everything else, everything is online, HGTV, YouTube videos and so on. And I have a genuine love for designing and decorating spaces. So I guess it came second nature. You said your father used to be in construction. What's the name of your father's company? Oh, he is still in construction. Um, we still operate Wilson Construction and Interior Services, which I also work for. What do you do there? I'm a project coordinator. What's it like working in a family business? Ah, it has its ups and downs. Um, at the end of the day, it's family. So you have that family bond with, I uh, work with my little sister, my sister-in-law and my father. But at the same time, it's, it, it's, it's, you know, dad being the head of the company, he's a bit hard headed to change at times, you know, but it, as I said, it has its ups and downs. He has allowed us to more um, have our own final say in jobs and interpret spaces how we'd want to. I mean, he's kind of brick and mortar in terms of his approach to, 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 to interior decorating, you know, loving standard colors, morning glory and colors like that. He's not really an accent wall kind of person. But slowly but surely, once he, once he sees that the clients are indeed pleased at the end of each job, he's kind of coming around. How has COVID-19 affected your business? The, the cost of construction material is going up. That is in itself is a challenge. I mean, our rates will have to go up. Um, and with, with, not, with a lot of persons not having a disposable income as, as before Corona, it's kind of a, 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 a rock and a hard place of sorts because the construction material is up but people have less money to spend. So it puts us in quite of a bind. But I mean, once the thing is what I've learned that once somebody wants, once a client wants a space and wants it done properly, they're willing to pay whatever it takes just to get that space done properly. And how does it affect the fact that you go into people's homes and offices? We just have to sanitize and try to keep our social distance as best as possible. Just for our viewers, if you could just provide them with two tips, one, how they can make a small space feel like home, and two, how to blend spaces for couples when they're moving in together. It's all about compromise. If one partner likes bright colors and the other partner likes warm, neutral earth tones, it's important to find a space in the house that both styles can coexist. Adding textures and textures to any space automatically makes it more homely. Adding pictures and portraits as well can assist. Using rugs to ground the space, throw pillows, throw cushions, will give any space your own genuine feel. When I see the project comes together and the client is happy, that's, that's truly my favorite part of the job, bringing those ideas to life.